Here I am in the web module. Right? I'm in the web. I've chosen my template. Uh, I've adjusted the, I've changed the names or, and the text on the page. I'm ready to go. Um, now, I have two choices when I'm ready to, to, uh, to post it. I can export, and that export means that it'll make a directory uh, on my desktop or wherever I put it that'll save to my hard drive. Um, and I can upload that later. I can use a program called like Fetch to FTP it. Um, or I can burn it onto a CD or mail it or whatever I want with it. Or I can upload it directly to the FTP server. And in order to do that, I need to adjust the custom settings. So I go to custom settings, edit. And these are the settings. stu.wccnet.edu the student username um, and their password uh, and public underscore HTML that's the main directory on the server um, and it has to be SFTP SFTP click OK um, and then you have some choices here you might say let's put it in a folder if I just use public um, dash HTML this gallery that we upload will be the main thing. So I'm going to put it into a directory. And I'm going to name mine, I put it in a subfolder. Uh, I'm going to name mine uh, oh, Photo 228 Gallery. That's the subfolder. And I noticed I didn't use any spaces or I could use a hyphen or whatever. Uh, but this will be part of the URL. All right, so when I've got that set, put it in a subfolder that I've named. Uh, I click Upload. Uh, ask for my password again. Click Upload. And then it goes through the process of uploading. And I'm going to pause. All right, so here I am. I'm back on my movie. Um, let's go to Fire, or Firefox and take a look. So here's what the URL should be. URL will be stu.wccnet.edu slash um, tilde, and then the username, msmith66 in my case, then slash, then the name that I put, so photo 228 gallery. That's what I put, and that should take me to my page. There you go. Let me see if I can get out of this now. Lightroom, there's my movie, and I'll stop.